main thing that Surfers World likes to keep doing is breaking barriers and always bringing new flavors to our music. So I think the main difference, you know, it's always going to be something different. It's a different step. And I think uh, we've been listening to a lot of different stuff and especially more percussion lately. And uh, we brought all this to to the Sepultura music together with more Brazilian influence than it was before. So I think it's a, just a, a new step. I always wanted to use my voice as almost like a, uh, the fifth instrument. So I decided to not really go for it and go from from the deep vocals to the crisp, high, you know, real high screams and stuff mixed with a uh, total clean voice, sometimes only talking, you know, all kinds of stuff. I think the result in the end is really uh, different, you know, it's gonna surprise a lot of people that sometimes I only use one, that one kind of max voice, which is kind of my trademark, that just deep, Screaming one. We have the idea to go inside the, the, the Brazilian jungle and in, in, in inside the tribe with them, you know, spend a couple of days with them, living a little bit the way they, they do, you know, learning a little bit more about their history and the culture. And, you know, it was great, you know, they're very friendly. They did the healing ritual of the word, which is the dance they did. And we uh, apply our music to that. They didn't change anything of their ritual song. You know, we just like jam together with whatever they have. And the final result's amazing, you know, just amazing. I really respect their, the way they portray themselves and how they love their culture and they will not give up their culture or their roots for anything. He was very honored also, you know. He liked to, to do the lyrics and stuff. And we kind of prepare a special song just for him. And the real cool thing about it is that it's not a rap song at all. It doesn't sound like rap at all. It sounds like a really weird, Kind of like somehow I have a little bit of industrial vibe on it, but also mixed with some real heavy scratch, but it's definitely not rap. This is the more, most experimental album we ever did. You know, it was an amazing experience for us, for our personal lives and yeah. for the band life. Attracted to Brazilian musical roots, Sepultura traveled to the Mato Grosso region to record a song with members of the Chivante tribe. Coming back to our root and bringing that back into the music, I think that's the main thing. It's not just the name or just, you know, the fact that we started in Brazil. The collaboration between Sepultura and the Chavantes went surprisingly smoothly. É, uma coisa que me perguntou assim, se ele se reconheceu um pouco o trabalho de vocês, né? Falar um pouco, uhum. mostrar a LP, né? A gente, a gente mostra o que a gente trouxe, um pouco da música que a gente escreveu, a gente fez uma música especialmente para vocês, que a gente mostra e você vê o que que acha, o que que... In order to authentically record the song Itzari, or Origin, along with the Givante tribe, Sepultura underwent several tribal rituals. We choose the ritual of the healing of the world, which they dance in circle. They paint their bodies all red and stuff, and use like different percussion instruments on the neck and on the feet and stuff. And they keep dancing the whole night long and stuff, like clapping and singing. Roots! Bloody roots! The, the heaviest album we ever did. Roots, bloody roots, roots, 
Having returned to their roots, the band then traveled to Los Angeles to complete the track with such guests as Mike Patton of Faith No More, DJ Lethal of House of Pain, and Brazilian traditional musician Carlinhos Brown, with whom they recorded outside the studio, incorporating several traditional instruments from Brazil. Well, I think the whole concept of the album was about to get something that would get, capture the energy of the band live. That on tape is one of the most difficult things. So I think the whole thing fits, you know, fits the, the roots. Hey! Having recorded Itzare, Sepultura then cut an interpretation of Kiowas, the Shivante's tribal song which had originally inspired them. For us it was great, and for them, you know, it was something different. A bunch of people, long hair, tattoos, so somehow at the end they, they knew we had something in common, you know, being different, you know, being seen outside the world as freaks, but at the same time 